Hello guys and welcome to the second episode of the Architects 3DP Mega Build. A big size and industrial quality 3D printer that we're building from scratch here at Architects 3DP. In the last episode, I presented you this ambitious new project and also introduced our great sponsors that together with our Patreon supporters are making this crazy build possible. Today I will teach you how I designed the structure of this huge 3D printer after thinking about the different systems available in the market in terms of modularity, rigidity and complexity of the build. Also, I'm going to unbox the new components of the structure and I will also explain you how I got them from my screen to my hands in a very short time. But before starting, be sure to click here in the subscribe button and to ring that bell to be notified when new cool stuff is uploaded. If you do it, you will help me creating new content and growing the channel to reach more special viewers like you. This project started as always in my projects book. And once I had the basic design more or less clear, I had to find a way to materialize it. For that I started googling different industrial structures able to provide a modular and rigid build that were the two main needs of the structure of the Architects 3DP Mega. That's when I got in contact with Synerges, explaining my idea, who were interested in this ambitious project and became the first official sponsor. Until this point, I didn't really know if this project was going to be possible or not. But thanks to the confidence Sinner has placed in me, the Architects 3DP Mega started becoming real and I want to thank them for that. Synerges Tecmon is a company with 30 years of experience in commercialization and distribution of technical equipment for industrial handling and transport. They are located in Barcelona, Spain, with an infrastructure dimensioned and designed to offer a leading platform in distribution and assembly of installations for the industry. A very special feature of Synerges is that they work with ITEM, a modular construction system focused to the industrial sector, with which you could build virtually anything. The system comes with the ITEM engineering tool, an online design tool that will allow you to configure a structure using the components of this construction system. Not all the components are available yet, since this tool is still in development, but the entire range of profiles is available. With this tool you won't only be able to design your complete structure, but also export the 3D model in almost every 3D file format to integrate the design with your favorite 3D modeling software. In my case, as I work with Rhinoceros, I exported the structure in STEP format and imported it in Rhino, where I still continue developing the design of the rest of the components of the build. Maybe the best part of this tool is that when you finish your design and add it to the shopping cart, Synerges Tecmon SA, official distributor of item in Spain, receives all the necessary documents to give you an automatic quotation of your project as a kit ready to build. Trust me that this whole process is really simple and with this engineering tool you will be able to generate with a couple clicks a very complete set of documents with all the mechanizations explained and assembly instructions, kind of an IKEA manual with which you won't have any problem to build your design. I'm gonna show you now how I started designing my structure. So first, you will have to go to the engineering tool clicking in the link in the description. Once here, as you can see, here at the bottom we can click on Profiles and here we have a huge collection. You can activate the filters to make the search easier. For the Architects 3DP Mega, due to its size, I'm gonna use Profile 8 with a 40 by 40 mm section for the external structure and a Profile 6 with a 30 by 30 section for the print bed structure. But before starting inserting profiles, we want to make clear what union system we are going to use. I'm going to use the standard fastening set, but we'll need drilling a hole to pass the Allen key and tightening the screws where you want to make the union. Synerges will make all the necessary holes in place for me, so it should be a good mounting system. You could use instead the automatic or universal fastening sets, that's up to you. You can get more information about the different systems in their webpage and catalog that you will find linked down in the description. Once set, I'm gonna choose the standard one and I'm gonna drag and drop the first profile into the canvas. I'm gonna start from one of the top corners of the printer. So first, I'll set the length of 1200 minus 40, that is 1160. Now I'm gonna drag and drop an 80 by 40 mm profile right here. And I'm gonna set a length of 700 minus 80, that will be 620 mm. You'll have to keep repeating this process until you get to this point, where I have completed the structure of the Architects 3DP Mega. As you can see, I've also added some plastic feet to level the printer once we build it. At this point, we'll click Next and we'll write the name of our project and description. You'll need to register on the platform before anything, so all the changes will be saved in your account. Then you'll have to click on Add to Cart, finish the checkout and you will be ready to go. 
Notice that I added some more bolts and fasteners to attach the Hewin railways and all the other components to the frame. You will find the complete bill of materials attached down in the description. After a few days, I received at home not one or two, three, four, five, but six heavy packages from Synerges that I'm going to unbox right now. In this small box, we can find what looks like a book. Oh yes, it's a complete catalogue of the range of products. And also more booklets with lots of information of item. This complete modular construction system we're going to be using to build the structure of the Architects 3DP Mega. We're gonna jump to the next box right now, and as you can see the profiles are very well packed and protected with this cardboard. These look like the two long 30x30mm profiles of the heated bed. I'm gonna put them on a side and I'm gonna continue with the next box. Whoa, this one is heavy! Those are the 80x40mm profiles for the top of the Mega. We'll mount on them the mechanism of the Y-axis so they need to be robust and resistant. In the next box, we can find six medium length 40 by 40 mm profiles that I'm gonna put on a side for now, and I'm going to continue with the next package. Damn, this one is heavy too! As we open it, we can see that it contains the six long 40 by 40 profiles that will be mounted in the X direction of the frame of the printer. Finally, when we open this smaller box, we can find all the bolts and fasteners that we ordered to assemble all the profiles in place. Together with the four feet and the three 30 by 30 mm short profiles of the heated bed of the Architects 3DP Mega. As you can see, all the holes on the profiles come machined from the factory, so we won't need to worry about drilling the holes in the exact perfect position ourselves. These are the components of the standard union. So what we'll need to do is to pre-assemble the fastener here in the end. By the way, as you can see, the threads for the bolts have been made in the factory beforehand as well. So we'll insert the fastener and the bolt in place, and once we have it, we'll slide it into the rail like so. And then we'll use this hole to insert the allen key to tighten the screw. So first, slide the fastener in place, and then tighten the screw. This is the simple step that we'll need to follow several times to complete the build of the structure of our Architects 3DP Mega 3D printer. But we're gonna do that guys in the next episode of this series, when we'll end up with the structure of the Mega completely built, ready to host the rest of the components of the printer. Remember guys that as always you will find the links for the bill of materials, STL files, tools and sponsors down in the description. If you have any question or suggestion about this Architects 3DP Mega, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to answer to all of your comments and get any positive idea that could change the design of the Architects 3DP Mega to make it better. There are still some components that could be sponsored for this build, such as the heated bed heating pads, the aluminium plate, the printing surface or plexiglass panels for the enclosure. If you are a company or you want to be part of this project as well, just let me know through my email architects3dp at gmail.com. Finally, I just wanted to ask you to subscribe to Architects 3DP if you still haven't, hit the like button, leave a comment and share this video so more people will be able to enjoy with this project. And as always, a special shout out to our Patreon supporters for making this channel possible. If you want to join them and support the channel as well, you can do it navigating to patreon.com slash architects3dp, clicking here in the top right corner or in the link in the description. Remember that becoming a Patreon, you will get access to all the necessary components for this project, as well as all the past projects in the channel, and much more rewards that you can check in our Patreon page. Okay guys, so as always, see you in the next video.